She's just a joy to watch. Boomers, boom, shaka, laka, laka, this, I mean. She's better when she's kind of talking from the heart. She talks to people easily. She engages people easily. If you throw her pitches, she can hit. She's going to hit them out of the park. I can really, really do this. It's round two of Travel Channel Star, and I'm Burt Kreischer, your host. I'm here with our expert judges to decide which two contestants will move on to the final round. We met with our top five near their hometowns, and they had a professional film crew help them tell their story on their personal travel expertise. Up next, Sandra Dunson Franks. She's from Atlanta, Georgia, and her travel specialty is the Baby Boomers Bucket List. And we sent her to Augusta, Georgia to try it out. Let's take a look. Let me fix your hair for that. Cover your eyes. Okay. Anytime, Sandra. Ooh, I'm <laughs> I'm getting emotional. Hold it. <laughs> okay. Stop it. <laughs> Hello, this is Sandra Johnson Franks. Um, <laughs> okay. The baby boomer bucket list show. That's wrong. <laughs> I can really, really do this. Hi, this is Sandra Johnson Franks, and we are here in Augusta, Georgia, visiting the Augusta Museum of History. And they are featuring an exhibit on the Godfather of Soul, James Brown. Grown up, grown up on the scene. Okay, baby boomers, you know what that means to us. Let's go in and see what they have for us. Oh, nice. That was awesome. Hi, how are you? It's I, a pleasure to meet you. I'm almost speechless, excuse oh, me. Bless your heart. Well, welcome to the Augusta Museum of History. Thank you. To the exhibit of my dad, Mr. James Brown. Your dad was so much a part of our lives. I mean, he gave me a sense of self-esteem. I was at Spelman College oh, in wow. 1968 when he came out with um, say, it say it loud. I'm black and I'm, I'm, black and I'm proud. Thank say you. it loud. Could you do that again, but say it to the camera? Okay. Go ahead. What did I say? Oh, about the brevity of it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's half of this video. What are your thoughts so far, Anna? I think she's just so genuine. She's very comfortable in her own skin. She's just a joy to watch. She's got a little work to do, you know, work on the walk and talk. She stumbled there a couple times. It seems that when they're her words, they come out fluidly. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the right way to say it. It's, it's odd that I would choose this moment to not be able to speak myself. <laughs> but when they're someone else's words, they seem to get caught up in her mouth. Is yeah. that what you see a little bit, Jody? Absolutely. Um, she's better when she's kind of talking from the heart. Playful versus scripted. Yeah, but there is copy you're going to want to get out. You got to tell everyone where we are. You got to tell everyone why we're here. I think she does the hard parts easier, and what ultimately are going to be the easy parts are coming a little harder to her right now. It's exactly what, what it is. Yeah. You're, that is exactly yeah. what it is. Yeah, and she's got the hard part down, which is just being herself yeah. and having fun. The camera doesn't impede her emotions. She seems James Brown daughter, and, and wait, the silence. Like, Yes. yes, you know, like the power she has of silence. people open up to yeah. her. That's so hard to do. She communicated as a without speaking. It was this, and I went, I, I get it all. The, the personal interaction came very natural to her. Yeah. yeah. Um, would I have liked a little bit more information about maybe the museum? Well, listen, we're not done. Yeah, this is a good start, and there's more, and I think there's even more to surprise you. Let's roll the clip. I'd like to get a margarito, please. Sure. <laughs> so, Coco, what what drew you to his music to the point that you would want to name a bar after him? You know, when we opened up in 95, Augusta didn't have James Brown Boulevard, didn't have the James Brown statue, didn't have James Brown Arena. It wasn't called that. And I thought it would be perfect to name a bar in Augusta, the Soul Bar, in honor of James Brown, the godfather of soul. This is the pool table that Mr. Brown played on when he'd come to visit the soul bar. And I understand he was pretty good at it. This is a photo of his breaking. <laughs> I think that means when you do something great with the ball and the stick. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. I just had my Nirvana <laughs> experience with the egg of James Brown, the father of soul. And I think that's what baby boomers will want to see. They will have a unique, real experience that they'll be able to share with their loved ones. She definitely did connect in that. Yeah, she's got some work to do, but she's, I love what she said, she's, she's real. But it is when, in, you know, when she's got to get those beats out, that's when she kind of stumbles. If you throw her pitches, she's going to hit them out of the park. I think if you throw her something that looks like a curveball at the beginning, 
I think she'll swing four times before it reaches the plate. Strike one, strike two, strike three, strike four. It's funny. <laughs> She's, she does so well what I love when I see a, a comic who's bombing does well. Being self-deprecating. Yeah, I think her her biggest strength, I think, is her heartfelt. Like that confessional at the end was wonderful. Yeah. Now she needs a better balance of pure Sandra versus. It's still we, we need some information, and there's a, definitely a way to do both. Here's where Sandra excelled. She never predicted what, as a consumer, I wanted to see. She simply gave me what her heart said she should give the camera. That is so unique. That is so special. I don't think. I hate to say this, but I don't think she can be coached, and I don't think you want her to be coached. I mean, the, once you she coach her, some of you're gonna lose. You're, you're, yeah. you're, the thing with hosting is, once you tell someone, you know, what isn't working, you'll never see that again from them. Right. And what we kind of like is the strike one, strike two, strike three, strike four. This is uh, the, the pool table that James Brown. <laughs> I don't know. If but like, but you can clearly say that someone gave her that picture, and she's like, and this is his break. She didn't know what a break she didn't is. Know what a break she didn't was. know what a break yeah. was. Which is great. And, but which is great. And then she fell apart yeah. on the table that you know James Brown has fallen apart on the same table. And I, th I think what, what she'll learn or she needs to learn is ultimately just a little more discipline and prep yeah. would have allowed her to not eliminate her personality at all, still see what we see but the dialogue and or the information about James Brown would or come depend on Or depend on the person you're talking to for that information. I mean, she doesn't have to the be bar. the wealth of knowledge right. everywhere no. she goes. But she has to know the questions, needs, too, right. and that could also come yes. with the prep, remembering the questions yeah. as well maybe, as part of Maybe dialogue. she just needs so. to be a little bit more curious about the, you know. Stay with Travel Channel all summer long and check in on TravelChannel.com and all our social media outlets for updates. We'll be crisscrossing the country with our contestants as they compete to be the first Travel Channel star. Then watch our one hour special on September 7th at 8 p.m. to find out who becomes the first ever Travel Channel star.